Hi there, Scorpio. Thanks so much for tuning in. I'm Astro Girl, and we're looking at November 24th through November 30th. And wow, what a what a quick leap it's been to this point in time. I'm sure you'll feel too as if we've all been on the Concord and we've sliced a couple of months off this year because it has gone by so quickly. This time next month, it's the end of the year. We're talking New Year's Eve resolutions. Like unbelievable. It may feel like the weight of the world is on your shoulders on Tuesday, November 25, with Mercury meeting up with Saturn in Scorpio. So it's important to keep two things in mind. The first is that this influence has a short shelf life. The second is that the depressive nature of this combination will shift into a happier place by Thanksgiving on Thursday when Mercury moves into Sagittarius. Scorpios, it's easy to be thankful for all our blessings when this naturally enthusiastic combination assures us that there's a lucky opportunity around the next corner. Even though it's filled with good cheer, this Mercury Sagittarius placement still has its dark side, including a tendency to talk too loudly, exaggerate a point, skip over the facts in, and, you know, amp up the fun factor. Now, that's not very uh, Scorpio, I might say. That's very Sagittarian to do that. But with so much planetary activity in your second house of self-esteem, you may join in on something just to get a laugh or just to be part of the crew or just so that you fit in. And then afterwards think, wow, you know, that was more than an exaggeration. That was almost like a straight out lie, uh, you know, and what may not have been a white lie. It might have been a bigger lie than that. It may have you feeling uncomfortable because the Scorpios, you're pretty, you know, straight arrow. So if you feel like you've overdone something and oversold something or something like that, you can always go back and say, I think I might have oversold you on this or I think I might have exaggerated this. People will understand because if there was a lot of people and it was all getting up in the heat of the moment, people will definitely understand. As annoying as this can be, this, you know, exaggeration, especially to critical Virgo types, if you know anyone who's a Virgo, the intent is innocent and lasts only for the next three weeks. So remember, Saturn, the planet of focus and discipline, is moving out of your sign finally after being there for two and a half years. For those of you who had your 30th birthday during that time, you had your Saturn return. And Saturn is going to move into Sagittarius December 25th. Wow, December 25th, right on Christmas Day. And it's going to be quite interesting to see how you handle Saturn because Saturn is the tasked, task master, master of the Zodiac. It'll be interesting to see how Sagittarius handles it. It's going to be in your second house of self-esteem and self-worth. Have a great week, Scorpios. Great speaking to you and I look forward to speaking to you again next week.